know the questions? Can you talk us through it? That's totally off the topic. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Echo episode of George Knows Nothing. Ajmer and Meman Naveen. And Naveen is a fourth year computer science and Aj Hamara topic is George Knows Nothing about algorithms. And actually, this is true because we hear about algorithms. For hot, for hot, uh, you know, newspapers, we talk about the algorithms of Facebook, of, of YouTube, of all our mm -hmm. big social media sites. But actually, algorithms, kya hai? You know, algorithms are basically a mathematical process to solve a certain problem. So, but in, however, in the world of computers, an algorithm is a set of instructions that tells the computer just not what needs to be done, but how to do it. So why do we need them in Hamara society? We need algorithms in computer programming just like we need words in our writing. So. In the world of computer programming, an algorithm gives a specific set of instructions to the computer to do every task, may it be a simple task like running a calculator. You know, there are various types of examples for an algorithm. There are SVM, KNN, I, I know you don't know nothing about it, <laughs> but there's a part in my research actually where I'm using KNN algorithm uh, for classification of my data. And so, so could you talk us in, in very simple language? All right. You can, I'm a five-year-old, okay? Mm -hmm. How do algorithms work in, in, in real life situations? How, how do they, so, you know, we talk about, for example, um, traffic, mm -hmm. and uh, an algorithm might be used to determine how much uh, we need to deploy traffic policemen mm -hmm. or, or you know, cops because they, they anticipate how the build-up of traffic is right. going to be. How would that actually work in practical life? We actually do algorithms in our daily life. Like, uh, just like I told you, it's like step-by-step -step solution to a problem, right? So let us make an uh, yeah, algorithm an right here. All right. Uh, you are out of groceries, right? Yeah, and right. you need to buy the groceries to the nearest shop. You need to drive to the nearest shop, right? Now let us make an algorithm of that. What will the first thing you'll do? You'll get up, you go out of your house, right? I go out of my house. You lock the front door. If I, inshallah. Okay. <laughs> then you unlock the car door. Yeah. Yeah. Then you sit on the driver's seat. Yes. Then. I turn the key. Right. I then go into. Uh, you put the car in first gear. Yeah. Yeah. And then I drive and off. And then you just drive off. But then I remember that the nearest shop mm -hmm. closes at six o'clock. Now it's seven o'clock. So I don't go to that shop. I then decide to go to a shop further away. Right. Because it's past six o'clock. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially what an algorithm is. No, not that actually. Oh. We are just going to the part where you just drive off. Like, let us make it simple one. Yeah, not okay. a complicated one, okay. right? Yeah. All right, so this right here, Yeah. all, all the seven steps, seven yeah. to eight steps, this right here was the sequence of logic to a specific problem, right? So this right here was an algorithm. Yeah. You get it? But I'm also realizing that the sequence of steps, because I knew that the the shop closest to me mm -hmm. is closed at six. You want the algorithm to be longer, it can be. But that's just, so it's just a sequence of steps. Yes. So for example, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of talk, especially in the US, that mm -hmm. there were certain algorithms in play on social media to favor and push mm -hmm. a particular populist candidate right. from in the last election mm -hmm. and there was an argument that obviously the more progressive candidate was hidden in the algorithms or is it just that they will see that this guy clicks on you know ads for guns and he will click on ads for um, uh, I don't know veterans and clicks on something for God bless America and therefore suddenly ads for a particular candidate will come to him 
and someone who pick, clicks on an ad for, you know, vegan food and mm. clicks on, you know, environmental causes, they will receive an ad for a particular candidate. Is that how the algorithms work? Sorry, I was, just, that, that was a long... <laughs> I know, and but, you just took the topic somewhere else. It's but, not you, but, 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 but that's essentially what That's actually cognitive behavior. That's totally off the topic. Okay, so... Uh, so okay. You want me to talk about that? Do you know about that? I do a bit, but not but quite. But anyway, we'll get off the subject of algorithms. <laughs> So what else do we need, need to know about algorithms? Um, so it's essentially the sequencing of, of logic. logic. Yeah. And you have to physically then put that into the, exactly. the code. But there are multiple, I mean, it can be a huge undertaking, presumably, because that's a very simple one that you just gave, an example yeah. of going to the shops. But human, there, there must be multiple options available to people. How do you ensure that all of that is thought out and planned? So basically, whoever needs an algorithm needs to tell you, like if there is a client, he or she needs to tell you what they actually want, the problem basically. And then for that problem, you design an algorithm that you solve that problem in step-by-step -step solution so that the computer may solve that problem. Can you tell me about an algorithm that you've studied, that you've, you, that you've learned about, that is a good example? Well, just like I told you, I have, um, I have done certain algorithms, I have learned about certain algorithms. Like there is one KNN, there is K nearest neighbor algorithm that I'm using in my final year project, that right. is research based project. So there was a part that required uh, classification of data, so for that I used that algorithm. Okay, great, great, and um, but thank you. That's that's really interesting. And, and so, do you think that algorithms are going to become more complex? Are we going to be seeing them in more of our daily lives here? Yeah, we do actually. We use algorithms every time. Just like I told you, just like I gave you an example of daily life. But instead of that, apart from that, in the world of computers, there are many types of various types of algorithms and some may be easier to solve you know some may be easier for the problem to be solved quicker and some are a bit complex but eventually in just a finite numbers of steps you'll get your solution and how do you actually physically create an algorithm in a, for, 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 a, for as a computer scientist it's basically just coding. You just coding. Just, yeah, you just understand the problem, what you, what needs to be done, and you just break it down into step by step steps. So you just do it. Okay, and uh, and could, so you can have algorithms designed in different coding languages. So yeah. you know Java or C plus plus. Exactly. They can be different algorithms for. Exactly. What's the sort of classic algorithm that you would see in a, you know, that everyone sort of learns about in their studies? You know, is there a, is there a famous algorithm out there that everyone knows about? It's not about the famous algorithm, but there is one that cannot be solved yet. What's that? That's the most complex algorithm that is Turing machine halting problem. That's one of the famous algorithm that cannot be solved until yet. Tuning? Turing machine halting problem. Okay. It's like it goes in a loop, so it can't be just solved until now. Until now. But until I'm now. sure Hamada students or Hamada potential students can solve it. Anyway, uh, Naveen, this has been fascinating. I've learned a lot. Uh, thank you so much. So what, what is your plan? Because uh, you're a fourth year student, uh, yeah. studies kebab, what's, what's the dream? Well, I am thinking to pursue a career in machine learning. So I'm doing my final year project based upon that. So yes, inshallah. Great. Well, thank you. What a smart, smart, you know, intelligent person you are. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.